perfectly balanced is all f this is confusion well it means you guys like both of them so i will show you both of them well not in this video by the way so in this video i'm going to show you how i made this top and skirt design and in the next video i will show you this particular dress all right let's start without wasting any more time so i start with the skirt well to make a skirt try to start with waistband which is pretty simple add a rectangle pattern snap it here symmetric paste sew and boom make sure it's not very tight or very loose then select this line offset pattern outline make sure to check this box hit ok then select this line cut and sew well that's how i don't have to calculate the measurement now i'm gonna use really an amazing tool in cloth 3d i don't think it's available inside of marvelous designer md users you can use lesson spread but this tool is really cool select this tool drag a line here and here direction should be both and increase the fullness line length and do not overdo it simulate and bam all right now the amazing thing the lace well spoiler alert this is really really frustrating all right now i have to find its location so i added an internal line exactly where the lace should be and then select those lines cut and sew and of course delete this junk and now please do not simulate cool now the holes with the internal ellipse tool draw an ellipse here and this will be the hole select the ellipse Control c Control v and then right click and then adjust the values according to a need super cool and when you are done select all the circle cut and delete them now select this line offset as internal line 15 millimeter okay now freeze everything except these two patterns all right be prepared for the frustrating part so i added a rectangle pattern keep it thin and move it behind the first two holes now make sure to reduce the particle distance now with this tool select and drag this portion of vertices and move like this in the 3d window simulate well i'll be mimicking the real life but trust me real life is not as frustrating as this it's almost like making the laces with one hand now increase the size of this pattern and select this portion in the 3d window right click on the green area and add pin now keep the simulation on and drag this area into this hole just like in real life and this is where the frustrations begins because you cannot use your power here if you drag too much laces will be separated from the holes and which you don't want anyway when you are done with one side do the same thing with the other side and then do this with the rest and just keep increasing this and you know the rest so after a long time here i am still making the lace and trust me i haven't found any easier way of doing this if you can find let me know in the comment i'll be very glad to know now one more tip try to break the long lace pattern into small chunks just like this all right this part really gave me a nightmare because whenever i tried to pull this the lace came out and it was so frustrating trust me so use this tip add an internal line exactly here cut and sew and do the same thing here and freeze everything except here now you can pull however you want without worrying the other area well the frustrating part is over now freeze everything and unfreeze the waist pen pattern select the pattern clear clone over remove linked editing delete the auto sewing now sew them together add internal line here and just sew them together too simulate now add a roll hem here just by adding internal lines and tracing them and sewing them together and superimpose over them and simulating them <sighs> well the last thing is to make the first add any button and in the object browser choose this button and move them by hand and just remember to uncheck the collision and here we go all right now the top so as you know whenever i make dress i start with a basic pattern now when you have the basic pattern just add internal line here cut and sew because you cut and sew this the sewing also cut right click on the sewing with edit sewing tool add point to pattern on start now from that point add internal line here and cut and delete them all right i'm gonna add a point here and here i will keep the gap eight millimeter and then i'm gonna add an internal line here this will be the princess sim now add a strap pattern with with eight millimeter of width sew them set its location symmetric paste add another pattern similar to this sew it 
simulate. Now you should make this strap tighter so it will hold the top. This top has to be tight, so I'm going to make it tight. Just by selecting these points with transform point tool and drag them like this. Now I'm adding the princess sim. Well, if you don't know what's going here, go watch this video. You will understand. And then add roll hem just like this skirt. And here we go. Well guys, the last thing I did, I made a texture and then render it. And this is the final result. Well, I really hope this is helpful. If you like this video, don't forget to share it to those who need it. And I will see you in the next video. And also don't forget to subscribe. Bye.